This is probably the most significant day for tunnel construction workers. When the giant machine breaks through the wall and emerges at the other end of the tunnel, do you know how this machine operates and how the tunnel doesn't collapse? Let's find out together. TBM, short for Tunnel Boring Machine, is a massive mechanical device used to excavate underground tunnels for traffic, drainage, or other infrastructure systems without significantly impacting the surface above. It uses a cutting head to drill and break the soil and rock in front, then processes and transports the debris out. This process involves three main stages. First, breaking the soil and rock cutting head. Equipped with cutting tools or discs made from hard alloys to break the soil and rock, the machine continuously rotates to excavate and carve through the hard layers. Second, extracting and transporting debris. After the soil and rock are broken, conveyor belts or suction systems transport the debris out through the machine. Similar to how materials are extracted in mining operations, conveyor belts are used to carry the materials outside. Third, reinforcing the tunnel. To prevent tunnel collapse, the lining installation system automatically places concrete ear or metal segments onto the tunnel walls as the excavation progresses to stabilize the structure and prevent subsidence. A layer of concrete is also injected into the outer surface to fill the gaps between the soil and rock and the lining segments. A TBM typically has a width of 12 meters, weighs approximately 4,000 tons, operates at around 5,000 kilowatts, and can excavate an average of 20 meters of tunnel per day.